Hello everyone, Attack Power with Game 3 between a Nord and Stan the Man in the Kingdom of Steel Tournament Round 1. Let's dive right in here to Slutsk East. And in case you're concerned, we did not cast Game 1 or Game 2. Game 1 was a disconnect, and Game 2 just was over pretty quickly. So both these players won and won. The winner of this one moves on to Round 2. On the left here in the red, Stan is on first pin, Sherna on balanced income. And on the right in the blue, we have Onord playing 78th Sturm on Maverick income so very interesting stan the man a well-known first pan Cherna player his deck here he likes to actually play it balanced which i do respect it's not a deck you'd normally build balanced i gotta be honest with you but he does it and uh zooming in here a little bit their recon tab pretty solid lots of cromwells and things and some okay infantry that help buff up your infantry tab a bit your infantry are crap they're they're basically just terrible your sappers are good are, are fine you're in uh in Zianizi. I don't know, something like that. They're your good unit. Uh, everything else is very mediocre. He's not even using all the slots. Surprisingly, is only 50 units for a balance deck, which is, in my opinion, insane. But they are in Slixies, so you need a lot less infantry. Although this map more than like Slits West, for example. His tank tab, of course, the highlight of the division. Lots of Cromwells, Firefly, uh, a couple Shermans and stuff. This is like the OG CIABG. Uh, that was never really good except for Stan using it. Uh, support tab, you do get Cromwell 6s, so some 2k there. A butt ton of, of Achilles in the AT tab, so some 2k 17 pounder range there. Your AA tab, really solid with lots of Crusader AAs. Your RD tab, just Sexons, which are basically just mobile 187 uh, mils, uh, 25 pounders, which... I mean, they're better mobile, so. And finally, your air tab is the solid Commonwealth air tab. We're also used to hurricanes, mosquitoes, spitfires. He's using them all. Should be interesting. Over on a Nord side, uh, playing Maverick here, 78 Sturm. We've seen this division before. Super high quality units, super expensive, though. His recon tab, actually pretty full. The, you don't get many options divisions. It's one of the worst tabs. Your infantry tab is extremely light for a Nord. Holy crap. Only 45 units of infantry. Even for a Maverick deck, to me, that seems extremely low i mean even for slits eats that's so low but okay i mean i, I uh, yeah but anyway tank tab stuck threes only your support tab lots of stuff but he's only taking ig33 mg42 and ig18 his at tab is absolutely stuffed to the brim tons of nashorns pack 43 in a not b he's got two cards of nashorns and b's and uh yeah your a tab's phenomenal neville verfers in the arty tab and a really bad air tab with just some fighters so in we go. He's actually bringing the BF-109 G6 instead of the BF-109 G6 R6. Kind of surprising. But we are off here. Let's see what we got going on. Anord uh, deploying. I mean, predictably, there's not much else you can do there. Not doing anything aggressive down south, surprisingly. He's not even trying to get to his blue flag here. And Stan doing his classic everything-in-one-spot attack thing. This is his move. He does it all the time. It's infuriating. I hate it so very much. I find this to be maximum cheese, but that's just me. It's not maximum cheese. Napalming someone's opening road is maximum cheese, but this is right up there. Pack 40 might be able to take out one of these. It will not be able to stop at all, without a doubt, especially with the APCR still turned on. It will switch ammo. Get a turret stuck, so not a bad crit to start. Although the turret is facing forward, so it may not be as good. One Cromwell down. Now the Pack 40 getting absolutely splurged on. Now it's going to miss because it's so suppressed, and it will be down momentarily. That also means, though, that Stan must have basically nothing everywhere else. He didn't even deploy into the town. I mean, Stan's goal is basically to drive this to the spawn point over here. That's that's his objective. The thing for Anord is he's out of pack 40s. He only has one card in A, and he's already used them all up. One's dead there, one's coming in, and one's over here in the north. So it means he doesn't actually have a lot of tools left to kill these tanks. Although he's damaged, he killed one and damaged one as well. Stan is now veering off a little bit. This pack, uh, Panzerbusch, not nearly as impressive. Pack 40 deploying in a very protected spot. I kind of thought maybe he'd at least go here. Panzerbusch going to try to get in. Pack 40 is back online, but the recon plane would have spotted it by now. Stops just out of range, I'm assuming because that recon plane giving him the info. An order on a 1311 because of all the flags that uh, Stan just didn't commit to. <laughs> Pack 40 down, easy peasy lemon squeezy. With that recon plane, he should know everything that Anord's doing over here. Panzerbusch out of range. These things are better than I thought they were. Uh, these things can do okay, and in 78 Sturm, it's the only light AT you get, so 
it, it's a necessary evil that can do okay. Nazhorn coming in to try to save the day, and this might save the day. It really may. The Achilles could be an issue, though. Ugh, so cheesy. I, I, I hate this play so much. Stan is one of the only people who does it. And can do it well, I should say. Pack 40 in position now. Let's see if he can pick up any kills. Hits the Sherman Commander. Gets another shot off and does kill the Sherman Commander, which is a big deal. Takes away the veterancy on these things, which makes it far less deadly. Pack trying to get away. Nashorn now in position. Gets a shot off. Lands a hit on the Crusader AA. And now the tanks are forced to back off. They can't get by this Nashorn safely. Panzerbusch flowing in. Stug 3 as well. Infantry gets killed in the half track. Nice kill there. Nashorn two hits, two shots. That's really rare. You not usually have 100% accuracy on those things. Stan on the 1311 though. I mean, the thing is, he put it all into this. I mean, this was his move. Stug 3 now is flanking in from the north. Killing off the scout car. 17-pounder coming in to counter the Nashorn. Nashorn pins the Saperzi. Double Pantabushin. is going to be an issue, though. He needs some infantry. Sherm Pioneer coming. Stug 3 gets a hit on the Cromwell 5. Nice shot there. Achilles in looking for the Stug. No, hitting the Alfclair. Oh, spotted by the Zviadosi. Stug moving forward to try to get that Cromwell 5. Cromwell 5 gets out of the way just in time. Stug 3 over here deploys, trying to kill off that Cromwell. Misses its first shot. Will it get the second? Yes, it will. Okay, so Stan's Giga Push here. Broken down pretty well. There's not a lot left. Two Stewards, two Cromwells, and an Achilles. So nice job by a Nord countering that cheese fest. Stug gets a pen. Achilles gets a pen. And, oh, Stug misses. Double star Stug loses to the no star Achilles. Gotta love it. I heart RNG. One Stuart Recon down. Achilles landing at maximum range. This thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> Can't miss, won't miss, baby. There it is, it can miss. And it did. Stug on the run now. Uh, there is only three Stugs in A for an Ord, so he's definitely going to be on the struggle bus here a little bit. Three Panzer 2 T26s, though, up north pushing a Nord on the 1410. I don't think that stands. Super push paid off here. Half track goes down. Sturm Pioneers in the woods. Nashorn will hold off the Saperzi. Panzerbusch a little too short on the range, though, to hit this Achilles. Nashorn is moving forward. Pack 43 in as well now, trying to kill off that Achilles. But Onord on a happy 1410. Remember, it's Maverick versus Balance. Sturm Pioneer versus Saperzi. Zapperzy gets moved out of range, which means it'll restart its reload. Didn't take any damage somehow. Not sure. Unless that's 13 men. I'm not 100% sure. Huh. Should have taken at least one from the flames. Zapperzy are able to move out of range and continue firing at that Sturm Pioneer in the woods. Nord needs to back that Sturm Pioneer up or it's just going to keep taking damage for nothing. A Nord picking up a, still 1410, not 59. I thought he had a 59. What did he lose? Oh, this flag here. Sturm Pioneer finally back up after taking two damage there. Kind of unnecessary. And now Stan's trying to dig in a little bit, hold on to his winnings. I mean, he only grabbed this flag and this one. He's probably not going to be able to get to this one. That's we're in a bit of a dangerous place, but the pack 43 is here to cover for him. T-26 is up north. Gets a pen on the Cromwell and goes down himself. What he really wants is kills this Crusader A. But he doesn't really have he doesn't really have planes. He has a recon plane and a fighter, so it's kind of it's like more of a you kill AA because it feels good, but not because it's actually that good in this situation to kill it. Gets a spalling. And down it goes. I mean he killed it. Can't be too upset about it. Panzerbusch, once this thing gets on target, it fires very quickly. 15 rounds a minute. Loses target, though, on the Cromwell 5. Still 14-10 for a Nord. If he can push off this Strelsi, IG-18, IG-33 coming in, he can recapture this flag and continue uh, and get a 15-9 here. 
B phase is a coming though. Piat going for the T26. T26 going after the Cromwell 5. Cromwell 5 misses that shot. Strelsi in position now. Piat gets off. Actually lands the hit. Sherm Pioneer on top of that Strelsi. Alfclair gets killed. Loses the eyes there. That's kind of rough. Shoots in. Should be able to crush this Saprazy. No question. JU-188 flying in again. He really should just sent it up north. He's got no AA there. I know he wants to see what's going on. Oh, looks like Stan has moved his units out. Another pack 43 coming in, though, to prevent any major pushes. Crusader AA going super aggressive forward. Both Fireflies in the deck coming out. He brought them both in an A phase, and that's all he's got. So the 2K on the Firefly in as well. Up north, though, Stan making no attempt to get back in. Panzerbusch on target now. Oh, nope, just kidding, not yet. Cromwell's doing a lot of damage. First shot goes wide. Second Panzerbusch now on target. First one goes down. Cromwell's still living. Hurricane in now with its 40 mil, uh, four 20 mil cannons and the 850 millimeter rockets. Black 43 is here, but it's not unloaded. Big mistake by Anord. Ooh, most of the rockets actually miss. Firefly pushing in super aggressive. Sturm shoots and hiding here in the building. Should get a free kill here on the uh, Firefly. Big mistake here by Stan. His lack of infantry punishing him here. Ooh. Stug trying to take out that Cromwell 5. Just misses. Firefly find that IG-18 there. Missiles in for the shoots in. Big hit on that. But the uh, recon plane going down there. Nice work from Anord killing that. He needs to stop Stan from being able to easy call in those planes. Panzerbush gets on the Cromwell 5. Gets an ammo explosion. Big kill there. Panzerbush showing its stuff here. fire as fast as I thought. I feel like it's supposed to fire faster. Stuart, though, is super slow firing, so he should be... Oh, no. Bounces again. Oof. Panzerbuff showing its stuff. <laughs> it's crappy stuff. But it does take it down, and you can't complain about a 20-point uh, AT gun killing two tanks. There's really nothing to be upset about. ju one eighty eight coming in in a little bit safer area to get that easy recon. Panzerbush moving in to kill off that Crusader AA. Ooh, Sherman finding the IG-33. That's rough. Nashorn moving to save. Another Pack 40 coming in. We're now into B phase. Onord on the big points. He's captured both these flags. He's technically captured three flags, but there is a recon unit hiding in the church tower here. Oof. That's some nice info. He really doesn't want to lose this IG-33. Nashorn's in, though. Misses its first shot. Needs to stay on line of sight of this Sherman. Will it be able to? It looks like Stan's rushing to get away. Second shot does get the penetration. Well, it'll always get the penetration. It's whether it gets the hit. And it does go down to the Pack 40 here. Nice kill. IG-33 still alive. Nashorn misses its first shot in the Cromwell. Pack 40 sees something. Oh, the infantry, I would assume. The Stug did go down, but there are now more Stugs available. Sturm shoots in. Oh, Crusader AA went down, down south. Stan losing some key units here. Not that there's much a, uh, air stuff to use, but the JU-188 being able to fly around for free and, like, give information, again, it's just so huge. I say it every time someone's doing it. You, it's so valuable. You don't get away with it often, but it when you do, it's, it's pretty magical. Pack 43... Going after the Firefly, I would assume. Yep, there we go. I mean, Firefly obviously disadvantaged in this fight. He's already lost one, and once he loses that, he's out of 2k armor. No, just kidding. He's got a billion Achilles. Nashorn finding the Cromwell. Cromwell going after the IG-33. He's only called in one, so there's two more of those still. He obviously really wants it dead. 
Hit on the Cromwell 5 causes a fallback, but here comes the double Cromwell 6 going after that pack 43. It's immediately doing a runner. It could have gotten a shot off there. The second missed. I understand why he's running, though. It is perfectly understandable. Cromwell has fallen back into the range of the Nazhorn. Down goes the Cromwell. Pack 43 down, though. He only has those two, but he does have, like, infinity Nazhorn, so... Meh. Not a big deal. Pack 43 is not great against First Pinchero because of the presence of all these Cromwell 6s that can just 2k and snipe it. Panzerstrek moving in to kill off these Cromwells. I mean, I think he'll get some kill. He should get like at least one. IG-33 on the run here, but Nazhorn now in position. Here comes the JU-188 down south to give that beautiful recon. There's a lot of infantry down here for Anord. A lot. J188 finally forced off a new Crusader AA in with the tri in this time. Nashorn gets another shot off. Nope, just kidding. It's going after the infantry. Panzerstrek needs to hop one building forward. One building forward. Pack 40, though, in position instead. APCR side shots the Cromwell 5. Panther Shrek could finish this off. It would be easy pickings. Crusader Gang goes in for the pack 40. Gets one pen. Crusader A is so good at killing infantry and soft targets, though. It has such a long burst. Hurricane forced off. Flak 43 in position. Those things are phenomenal AA pieces. Panther Shrek finally moves. Takes out the Cromwell 5. Could move over and kill that Crusader AA as well. Ooh, a lot of tanks lost here by Stan. Panzerboost getting caught out by the Strelsi. Here comes the armor. There's a Nashorn. Okay, repositioning all the way down south. Pack 40 finds the Firefly. Firefly dodges and gets away. It already took one pen from the uh, Pack 43 earlier, so it's only going to take one hit to finish that. Pack 43 needs to back up. Dangerous. Panzer Shrek could have just moved to this building, but didn't, and now is going to get absolutely wiped. Inzenierzy. Inzenierzy? Engineer. I'm sorry. Sorry, my Polish viewers. Your language is amazing and really hard to say. <laughs> These are very good infantry, though. Four stand, six rifles, a flamethrower, and a Bren. It's not like an overwhelmingly good one, but compared to most of the other infantry, they're pretty darn good. Now, the Cromwell 6 up north, forcing off some of those infantry. Lots of Cromwells around, and here comes a Crusader AA and another Sherman. Good lord. Two Stug 3s coming in, though, to try to solve this problem. Flamer gets back in the car and runs away. Fabulous. Nashorn moving in for what I'm not sure. This 17-pounder in a dangerous spot. Here comes the Hurricane. There's no AA in the middle here. Sturm shoots it in some trouble. The hurricane looks like it's blind firing at this building here. Sturm shoots it on the run to dodge. Ooh, Flak 43 over here actually gets eyeballs on it, and the hurricane's retreating into the Flak 43. There's a good chance it'll take this down, although hurricanes have some pretty good resilience. Flak 43, a lot of time on target, though. It is smoking. Oh, gets away. Wow. Stug 3s are coming. Panzer Shrek in position, though, for the snipe on the Cromwells. Onord's been very slow with his Panzer Shrek movements. Like, he, yeah, there we go. Panzer Shrek out in the open. And now they're running. I guess they saw the Panzer Shrek. And the Sturm Schutzen did go down, but the Ingenie took a lot of damage. The southern flank move is successful here from Onord, but now all his troops are kind of caught out in the open. Sturm Pioneer gets some smoke down, covers himself off. Another smoke saves the rest of them. They need to fall back into the woods. Two Stug 3s down south. Okay, I think a little overcommitment from Onord down south. Big bulge up north here. Sturm shooting though, getting crushed by the Sherman. Cromwell 6 finding the IG-18. Interesting line of sight there. 
Nashorn, unfortunately, out of range, but there is a 17 pounder there. If he moves forward, which he is, he's going to lose his Nashorn. Flak 43, instant killing. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> the fastest I think I've ever seen a plane go down. IG33 finding the 17 pounder. Ooh, he wants that dead. He wants that dead very badly. But he's falling back. I guess there's armor a coming. Nashorn moving forward. Neville for 150 and looking for the 17 pounder. 17 pounder is not there to find. Nashorn moving forward. 17 pounder getting out of position, actually. It's going to allow the Nashorn some free shots safe from it. Cromwell takes a pen from the pack 40. Pack 40 already moving. Nashorn misses. IG33 goes down. Nashorn backs up, moves back forward. He really needs to kill these Cromwell 6s. One Cromwell 6 down. Nice kill there. Pack 40 doing its job. Nashorn firing. Misses. Pack 40 in position again for the other Cromwell 6. Misses. Oh. Nashorn moving forward. Pack 40 finding Crusader AA. Crusader AA is... What is it shooting at? Oh, this Krubel MG. Down the AA goes. But here's a Hurricane in. Going to kill off that Pack 40. Oh, fails. Wow, that's actually surprising. Nashorn versus Firefly. Firefly goes down. Nashorn takes a pen, but of course, the winner is the one living. Singular Pack 43 does not appear capable of killing this hurricane. Stern shoots and was forced out of position. We're about to hit C phase. Anord has a massive force down south. Half tracks going down. Stern shoots and eating up some infantry there. Panzerbusch is in an odd position. 17-pounder looking for what? I'm not sure. Oh, the infantry and the transports here. Vickers finding some Sturm shoots in over here for free. Tanks need to back off. Such high-level play. Gotta love it. It's just very different from watching the next tier of players down. Watching these, like, super high-level pro players. The action is very fast-paced. Sturm shoots in moving forward. They, maybe he'll be able to get a Panzerfaust off. Maybe. I doubt it, because this thing will see it. He stops. Okay. How many Panzer tracks do you have? Just the four. Pack 40 takes out the Cromwell 6, dies for his trouble, but I would say that's worth it. He needs these Cromwell 6s dead, and he's got plenty of Pack 40s to go around. He needs more Nashorns. He's got eight of them in B, and he's called only like two or three in. Nashorn Nigel up north, you know he's going to die. Just so everyone knows, aces make no difference. It's just, it's purely a, a skin thing. There he is. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Shoots and finding the engineer. He should be able to kill that and recapture this flag. Down it goes, back to a 1410 now. 17 pounder taking a hit from the IG-33. Nashorn hopping out of range. Pack 43 needs to fall back, getting hit. They're ground attacking, but the Nashorn is there with the IG-33 forcing off the 17-pounder. The Nashorn can now go after the uh, the Cromwell 6s here. Could be some huge kills for him. Misses. Gotta love it. Pack 40 now going after the Cromwell Recon. It's going to miss because it's suppressed. Ooh, and the HE kills off the Nashorn, and now the Pack 43 probably going to go down to this Recon. Cromwell, oh, frustrating... Line of events there for a Nord. Ooh. Double Nashorn in, though, as we go into C phase, and now Stan has the advantage. There is a C phase card of Cromwell's. So there's 18 of those in the deck. I'm not 100% sure what a Nord does at this point. I mean, he's got a long way. Oh, they have something screwed up. This is wrong. They screwed up the the setup. This should not be that long of a time. Yeah, that's that's a major issue there. At no point should it be a 46-minute timer to defeat, especially with this many tickets gone. 
So they set the game up wrong. They put on like high cohesion or something like that. Uh, you would think players like these would not make such a kind of dumb mistake. She took three misses magically. Achilles finally goes down. 15-9 for Anord. Now a normal-ish amount of time on the on the thing. That's how it should be 23 minutes at a single tick at this point. Neville Werfer going after the Vickers here in the building. Trying to force that out. He's at a very long range, though. It's not going to hit very well. Huge pile of Cromwells here. Making a big push. Although there are two pack 40s here. And some Stug 3s. So this is not defenseless. Transmission damage on the Sherman. Killing off the leader Sherman would be huge. And he does. There goes all that veterancy. Recon Cromwell goes down. Nashorn's in. Cromwell 6 fallen back. 17 pounder was killed. These infantry have no chance. Pack 40 finding some side shots. Cromwell 5 takes a hit. Oh, misses the second shot. Pack 40, you fail. Should finish. Oh, misses again. Oh, the frustration. Wow, that, that's, a, that's crappy. Pack 40 gets another pen. Cromwells are too cheap. They should be five points more expensive. Double rocket in. SDK of Z71, not enough to stop it. One Cromwell, five down. Still getting hit by the Crusader AA. Shows side armor, down it goes. Ooh, nice play there by Stan. Up north, both packs are dead. Stug's trying to stop the pile of Cromwells here. Woo, 17 pounder misses the pack 40. Pack 40 hasn't unloaded though. IG 33 trying to save the day. Pack 40 goes down. Ooh, big mistake there by Onord and somehow the IG 33 misses again. Stug 3 is in a very tight position here. Seven Cromwells. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Stan is a very nice guy, but I have to be honest, he's my least favorite player in the entire game to play against. Pack 40 takes out one Cromwell. Opens up in the second. Probably going to be dead before it gets a third shot off. Here comes the second shot. Gets a side shot. Stug's moving in. We have two sides now. Pack 40 might survive. Two Cromwells go down. Another pen. Another Cromwell down. Oh my. Onord's doing it. Oh, but here's the Polston. Ah, the back 40 can't do it. She took three down. Down's another Cromwell. Oh, they're all bouncing. Oh my goodness, the whole attack force. 210 might actually get killed by this AA piece. Cromwell actually still finishes the Stug. Oh, ho, ho. Down south, Cromwell's sixes are forced off. His southern push kind of got broke down here. Glide's getting crushed by the Crusader. Yeah, Stan uses these Crusaders so frustratingly. They're just all over the place, and they just cream your infantry. Can't believe this thing still hasn't been spotted by anything. Nashorn's moving forward. I mean... A lot of 17 pounders were killed, but it is C phase and stands on balance. So I'm not, especially with this freaking, they messed up the cohesion thing. I mean, Onord would probably be more like over here if this was correct. Off map, not going to hit much. Sturm Pioneer getting some flames on the recon. Takes out the recon tank. Nice kill there. AA goes down. Dragoni pushing through, though. Nashorn getting pressured by the uh, Cromwell 6s. 
So now the IG-33 under pressure. Achilles takes out the Sturm Schutzen. And remember, Renor does not have many infantry to work with. I mean, he just, he just doesn't. He just doesn't. Wow, it's Dragoni being very ballsy. If this was not an MG42, if this was an infantry unit, it would be dead. Oh, well, there he goes. Yeah, it does unload. Sherman takes a pen. From what? I'm not 100% sure, actually. Maybe it was moved forward over here? I have no idea. Sexton now in. It's a shame they messed this up on their final game. About 20 minutes left, Nord has to survive. Keep the flag tick, but... Uh, things not looking too hot for him. Off map coming in again. Sturm Schutzen did recapture this flag. They're gonna go down, though. Oh, yeah. 13-11 for Stan now on the tick for him. I think his stand doesn't have that many more infantry either. He's only got 50, but his coming with half tracks, which, you know, function as extra infantry, really. One Nashorn did go down to the Achilles. Achilles actually misses. Nashorn, of course, misses. Nashorn going to get another shot off, though, before the Achilles does, and down it goes. Stug 3 4. This Cromwell 5 at this range is dangerous. Hurricane will not get through this SDK of Z71. Dragoni go down. Hurricane might actually finally die. Oh, no, wait. The SDK of Z is moving, so it's going to lose accuracy. It, nope. Gets away. Gets away with that. Cromwell did go down to the Stug. Three more Cromwells and an Achilles in. Good lord. Yay, balanced income. Sturm shoots and coming in everywhere. Cromwell gets a burst off on the Stug. Runs away. Here they come. They're just pushing in. Nashorn finds the Crusader AA. Gets a penetration. Wow. If only... Uh, I mean, if only he had more planes. He might actually be able to take advantage of all this AA he's killed. Stug almost certainly going to go down to these Cromwells. He's trying to make a runner. SDK I said almost reveals itself. But Glide have no AT. That would be pretty fantastic if it did, but it doesn't. Cromwell's in. Gonna get a shot off. Stug 3 goes down. Big loss there for Anord. 13-11 for Stan. I mean, I guess the thing is now Stan Anord's ticking down half the speed as well. <laughs> oh man, they done mess this up. I mean, I guess technically it's still fair. They're both affected by the same amount of, like, ticking speed. Wow, Neville Riffer getting a nice shot off on the Kromo 5. Surprising since you can move them so easily. Crusader AA goes down to the SDK of Z71. And now that's going to die for its for its heroic actions. It's going to die. Yep. I think things fall apart a little bit down here for a Nord. Now here comes a whole fresh wave of Cromwells. He did destroy another blob of Cromwells over here, I think. 17-pounder now in this dangerous position. Stug 3 here, though, to stop any further push. He could get back into here for sure. This is not a very secure push. Here comes the Mosquito. There is another SDK of Z71 in, though. Mosquito was going for the ballsy attack on the Nebelwerfer. Nice call from Stan to try to get that. Black 43 is here as well. Could spell disaster for this Mosquito. Down it goes. Nice plane kill. He does have six of those in C, though, so it's not like he's running out. Panzer Shrek's in, but it's not doing anything. Cromwell 6 going to crush his Sturm shoots in. Achilles kills the Nazhorn. His Achilles has HE2, I forgot. A nice little salient popped out here for a Nord.
Two more Nazhorns in now for a Nord. Still managing to call a lot of stuff, and these Cromwells are going down in heaps, which is why Stan's not, like, way ahead. He's lost a butt-ton of tanks. Nashorn finds the Cromwell 5. Cromwell 5 already took out the Stug. Misses. Will the Nashorn get another shot off? It does! And down the Cromwell 5 goes. What a, what a kill there. Needed that bad. Neville Werfer was going for the Cromwell 6s, but those are already zipping away. Poor recon infantry gets caught up. Achilles going for the Neville Werfer here, but Nashorns on the hill are going to stop it. Both miss, but there's a second Nashorn. Actually lands a hit. Will the Achilles get out of range in time? No, it does not. Nice kill there. And actually, Stan might be running out of Cromwell 6s. He only has six of those. So he's lost. Yeah, these might be the last two. Maybe one more. Again, just guesstimating. Shook 3 finding a side shot on Cromwell 5, but now there is a 17-pounder in. Another Cromwell 5 down. Wow, this Stug is eating them alive. 17-pounder misses wide. Cromwell 5 takes another hit. Nashorn misses. Stug gets hit. Make it a run. Will it get away in time? Dodges and it does survive. That was a bad trade-off there for Stan. And Onord's back on the 13-11. Only 15 minutes left here. I mean, just imagine... Technically, like, stands, like, down here. And Anord's, like, right here. Basically, he's just having all of the ticking. It's still fair for everyone, I guess, at the end of the day. He just won't get an actual win. Sturm shoots an out of position here. There we go. Now he's in position. One Panzerfaust off. Chasing down the Cromwell now. It will get another off here. Panzerfaust reload very quickly. And down it goes. What a wipe there. Ouch. 100 more points of Cromwell's down. They are 50, right? Yeah, 50 points a pop. I feel like the Cromwell's are dying in sets of twos. <laughs> if he moved more a teeny bit, now Sherman's here. I see why he's not, but so close. Now we're going to miss this 17-pounder. Shook 3 kills off the Achilles. What a pick up there. But Glyde going to lose against these Inziani. Neville Werfer re-aiming to try to get a better shot on. Cromwell 6 dodges the Nashorn shot. Like a ninja. Wah! Cromwell 6 finding those Buglites out in the open on the run. Infantry pouring in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's like literally 20% of his infantry. <laughs> That's 20% of his infantry right there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I can't play the way these players play. I need infantry. I need crap tons of infantry. I need all the infantry I can have. Dragoni going for the rush on the Nashorn. One down. One of these will get to him. There's no doubt about that. They'll unload and they'll shoot their Piat. Two down. Oh, this is such a waste of infantry. He has so few to start. And now he unloads. Oh, gets a hit on the Achilles of all things. There goes the Nashorn. Oh, good lord. Neville Werfer does get a, a hit off on the 17 pounder. Doesn't do a lot, but it does enough. And here come more Dragoni. They're driving right by. If the shoots and doesn't get suppressed in time, it will get its grenade off. No, it is suppressed. It's going to get surrendered. What a huge push by Stan here. Oh, no. Can it be stopped? There's a Stug 3 that happens to be in the area. Another Stug 3 called in. Nashorn Nigel, Nigel back here. Not much he can do. 17 pounder moving to cut off his area to go. 16 8 now for Stan the man. Neville for going off. Hitting these Dragoni. Kind of surprising. Way too late for that. Neville Werfer going after the 17-pounder. Takes it out. Pandashrek could be on this road here. 17-pounder going to get in anyway. Ju-188 providing information. More AA coming in to try to stop that. 
Dragoni going for the spawn point, I believe. Shoots in, unload. Oh my goodness gracious, what a play. Nazor Nigel goes down to the 17 pounder. He didn't do anything. Panzer, the last Panzer T26 is in to save the day. Takes out the half track. The Dragoni have no chance against the Schutzen. There's a hit. I don't think he's going to get away unless this misses. And it did miss. Shook three. I don't know what it's going after. It's shooting at something. Shook three down south, hitting the Nzirni. 12 minutes left. Not sure if the double tick's going to be enough, honestly. This is technically a big gap. It's technically like down here and he's all the way up here. Shoots and pinned. T26 trying to save the day. Shoots are falling back. He's going to lose this spawn point. The T26 can't hold ground. Oh no. 17-7 for Stan. Neville for strike kind of weirdly plays. I mean, he had other responses to this singular infantry unit other than an entire Nebelver for strike. Recon plane, though, is kind of saving the day, giving him some insight of what's going on. And I have to imagine Stan does not have many infantry after that. I mean, that was legitimately 20% of his infantry tab right there. Nashorn's pushing forward. Not much here to stop them. The 17-pounder is in position, though. Can't move too far with this Panzer T-26 because of the Dragoni with their Piat. And now this salient's, salient's trying to get closed here by a Nord. Achilles in position to stop reinforcements. Schutzen really just needs to be unloaded. He could have just put it here and stopped further reinforcements. He is doing that. The right choice there. Will he get there in time? Half track running. Flak 43 getting caught out by the Sherman. Crusader AA blob coming. There's not a lot to stop that. 16-8. Anor desperately holding on to it. Neville for strike in on the Achilles. Dragoni goes down. Forces that off. Stug 3 ready to cut off that Cromwell 5. Shoots and do close this salient. Will they shut it all the way though is the question. Half track moving aggressively. Might get hit by the... Oh, yep, does get killed by the grenade there. One less unit. Dragoni forced off by the Schutzen. And now the spawn point is recaptured, I would think. Shook 3 takes out the Cromwell 5. Sherman all over this Flak 43. Losing that is going to suck. Seventeen pounder finds the Nazhorn down south. Achilles moving in as well. Now we're going after the 17-pounder naturally. Here comes the Mosquito with the Flak 43 dead. This armor's all free to come in. Along with the recon plane, which means he can see every single thing. Pioneer Fear goes down. Sherman goes down to the Stug 3. Nice kill there. There's nothing more the Crusader AA can do to kill that. Sherman should be good pop out and kill that thing. But he knows he'll be instantly wiped after that. Fourteen ten back for Stan. Eight minutes left with the single tick. Not sure he'll make it. I have no determination because of the weird setup they did. 17-pounder takes a hit from the rocket, but will survive. Black 41, 88 coming in. Good choice. Gives him some HE and AT. Crusader A goes down. 
Sturm shoots and gets wiped out, though. Shoots and forces off the Inzirni, finally. Because now that Sherman left, they can go get that. Sturm shoots and moving into the building. Gets stopped, but he is in MP44 range, which means he actually does get to fight back a little here. There's an SDK of Z71 in. Hitting the plane. Needs to retarget on the Dragoni. Oh, this fast move thing. Why? Dragoni, get away. But now all this is back in Onord's hand. Seven minutes left. Crusader AA did wrap back around to capture this flag. Sturm Pioneer can do nothing against this Crusader AA. Artillery hitting those infantry, but the Sturm shoots and won this fight here. Recaptured this flag. I mean, he basically just has to prevent a triple tick is what he's going for. Gun jam on the AA. Nice shot there. Nazhor moving forward to save the day. Nebelwerfer going after this Dragoni here. Nazhor finishes off the Crusader A, but now there's two Achilles in. Or one Achilles in, excuse me, with two Cromwell 6s. Here we go. Boom. Roop. Misses. Why is he not shooting the Achilles? Takes out one Cromwell 6. Nice kill there. What is this Nazhorn doing? It's just looking at them. Oh, rage. Achilles here goes down, though. Nazhorn finally decides to, like, get his button gear. Misses. And now there are three Achilles. I don't think there's any chance against those. Yep, down it goes. Key unit dead. There's the 88, but that could get overwhelmed at this point. Stug 3 still here, though, to stop anything else. Achilles did die. Down goes a half track. Stand back to a 1410. Crusader A got cut off. It pushed too deep. Icarus flew too close to the sun. Up north, another massive infantry attack, but the Sherm shoots and taking out some of it. And gets surrendered, just overwhelmed. Stug 3 just reaping the kills. Nazhorn in. Flak 41 trying to kill off the Cromwell 6 before it gets finished off. It's forced off. Neville for strike in. Hits the Cromwell 6 hard. Hits the Achilles well. Kills the Cromwell 6. That's what he needed. Still 14-10 for Stan. Five minutes left here. This is anyone's game. What a what a grab. Stug holding off the infantry here. I guess they just didn't call infantry in the rest of the game. I don't understand. Achilles versus Nazhorn. Achilles already got hit. Nazhorn gets hit. Nazhorn misses. Achilles on the run. The one thing with the Nazhorn is when they miss, they do cause a lot of suppression. Boom, down it goes. Stug 3 is bailed out, though. Achilles gets the first shot and misses. Nazhorn with a lot of suppression, though. I doubt it's going to land a hit. Neville Riffer, strike going for... I, he thought a 17-pounder was still there. It is not. Nashorn goes down to the Achilles. Another Nashorn strike trying to take out this Dragoni. He's getting some good hits. It's not going to take it out, though. Nashorn gets the first strike. Achilles trying to run. Misses. A lot of suppression and it's moving. Does miss. Nashorn, I think it missed again. Piot takes out the Sturm shoots in, going to re-grab that. He's having a really hard time getting reinforcements in. Mosquito flying around unfazed. SDK of Z71 finally forces that off. Achilles falling back. Nashorn is dead. Somehow this thing landed with maximum suppression while moving and killed that Nashorn. <sighs> I just know the struggles. I wish my 17 pounders had that magical ability. I really do. Double Crusader in, gonna force off that JU-188. Sappers blasting through, there are three minutes left. Double tick, oh my goodness gracious. I'm not sure he's gonna make it. Is he out of Cromwells? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> he called it, how many Cromwells did he call it? 26, 32 Cromwells are dead. <laughs> because, otherwise I think he'd be calling Cromwells and I really do. I don't think he'd be spamming Achilles. Shoots and did get back into this flag. Stug 3G trying to force off this AA. Shoots and dying in the transports, but they are still alive. But now the Crusader getting some side view on them. Stug 3 going after the Achilles. Dragoni goes down. 
Jug 3 takes out the Achilles. These shoots are going to get wiped out by this Crusader AA. Here comes a Hurricane going for that shoots and that got in there. Sturm shoots in trying to hold off. A uh, Sturm Pioneer trying to hold off the Saperzi. Saperzi get their grenade off. That'll be the end of the Sturm Pioneers. Down they go. Stug 3 holding the flag though. Still 1410 for Stan. He needs more than that. There's only two minutes left. Hurricane finally going after that JU-188, but the SDKZ-71 is there. Crusader AA goes down to the Stug 3. SDKZ just driving on up to Groni. Gonna unload right in front of him, though. SDKZ is now falling back. These players using their AA as, like, <laughs> mobile tanks is hilarious. Half-track goes down to the Stug over here. Shoots and pins the Dragoni. Minute and a half left. Infantry black. How does he have so many freaking infantry left? He literally called none in. That is insane. One Bedford down. Piot misses. Oh, the Piot failing. SDKZ just going to blast into this thing. Unloading transports, killing some. So many machine guns on it, though. It will die. Down it goes. 15-9 for Stan. One minute left. Mosquito Bomber coming in for the Beglite Grenadier. That will bring this flag back into Stan's control. Ah! Oh, my God. It's so close. Eighty-eight doing nothing at this point. Stuck three did go down. Stuck three up here holding this flag desperately. A triple tick might still do it here. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> There's the triple tick. Will it do it? The Stuck three is pushing forward to try to prevent it. Strelsey getting killed. Closing this gap. Oh, 19-5. Twenty seconds left. Ah! <laughs> SDK is at 7-1 pushing forward There's 10 seconds left Oh my god they're so close SDK is at 7-1 goes down 5 seconds And that's the game I think Onor just hold out, Held out on that one And I did check the results Yes Onord wins this game at the 50-second mark. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa. I... Wow, that was tight. Onord crumbling apart at the last possible second. Holy crap. That one definitely required a replay to check those scores. But apparently it was determined after the fact that a Nord did in fact hold out and win this game. Wow. What a freaking game. Well, that was thoroughly enjoyable. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.